Hello and welcome to Reans. This is your December 2022, I can't talk, 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. And this month's guest is Kyra Shaw. I leave her um, contact details in the description box below. So make sure you check her out because she does all sorts of things, including palm reading, which is awesome. Yes. Right? <laughs> So, in any case, what we will do here, we will divide the reading into sections because it is a bit easier to understand. Actually, it's also a bit easier to actually read it. And the areas will be as follows. So, we will look firstly at the overall energy for the months ahead, which is December, and then for the sign of Taurus, obviously, before we then move into your emotional core. The emotional core is about how you feel. Maybe there's love coming in. Maybe there's trauma that can go, that sort of thing. And then lastly, we will look at um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of December. Now, Torians, please like, subscribe and share. It does help us grow the channel. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Much appreciated. If you feel you're sitting weirdly, it's true. Somehow I'm messing up the stand. And when I sit upright, I only have half a head. So I'm just trying to be in the frame and I look probably a bit, a bit hunchbacked here. Uh, it is what it is, just don't, don't mind it, right? And we're getting there. So here is the overall energy for the month of December 2022 for the sign of Taurus. Okay, okay, let's go. So again, these two just jumped out. So we've got change in direction again. Yeah. So I think it's because it's the end of the year. Um, Obviously, anything that you kind of like wanted to do that you thought about doing this year, it's time to put it into place now. Then obviously, when we get into 2023, you can start putting those wheels into motion, take that leap, do anything that's kind of like that you've really wanted to do for quite a while now. It maybe if you were looking for a different job or again a different hobby, this is the time to put those wheels in motion for you now. And we've also got the opportunity to forgive card. So what I'm getting, maybe you've got a bit of blood. Blood, <laughs> but I can't speak. Bad blood somewhere, so maybe you're um, kind of like holding on to something, maybe you've got a bit of a grudge going on. This is just basically saying this is time to kind of like let that go now, not necessarily forgive that person for wronging you, but forgive them in your mind so you can have peace and move forward because that energy is just doing you no favors, it's not doing you any good. Hard kind of like sitting around in you, you just need to process it and let it go just for your own peace of mind. We also got the giving and receiving card. So a lot of the times it's just the way out of balance. Um, that means, I mean, that's what tends to mean when this card comes up is maybe you're taking too much and you're not giving enough back out. This can be t primarily time if I'm honest, that tends to come up a lot. Um, or maybe you're giving some, you're so, giving too much of yourself, sorry, to someone and you're not getting enough back. Um, I'm getting a lot. Of like relationship vibe from this so maybe if you're in a relationship um to so feel a little bit one-sided maybe it's probably best just to sit down and just say look right i feel like i'm giving you way too much i'm not getting enough back or maybe like there's kind of like a bit of a friction in the relationship it might be vice versa maybe you're taking too much from your partner and they're not getting enough back from you it might just be worth having that conversation but what i'm very much getting is people in relationships it's they are balance. And remember, Taurus is the second sign, which means you're governed by the second house. And the second house is all about relationships. And as the, the, uh, as the bull, so to speak, it is important that your territory, for want of a better word, is safe. So that is quite Taurian, right. if that makes sense. So that makes sense. And now we're looking at your um, emotional core. And the emotional core is really nice because you have wonders and blessings. Can't get any better than this. So what you are not asked to do in December is to procrastinate. Pay attention. You are not asked to procrastinate. <laughs> you have wonders, which means if you want to explore um, new beginnings, maybe the relationship you're in or the relationship that you're, that you're hoping for, when you feel like I want to sort of start over, I want to start in a different direction, that's the energy that I'm getting. And because you have wonders, which means, you know, something completely out of, out of the blue could happen. Someone completely unexpected could show up. 
don't have types <laughs> if that makes sense that's what i'm getting is <laughs> it's just what i'm getting is is um <laughs> is to mind. is to not um yes and not op not necessarily follow patterns that you already know and understand and then you have blessings which means that you probably manifested a change in your relationship or more understanding in said relationship and blessings means literally that the universe has listened they have understood um, and they have under they have listened to your whining and I don't mean in a bad way <laughs> but there is some energy here of like uh, all this crap right as the energy is just in the room here for Tureans and sometimes when you have a negative um, way of communicating your energy goes low and the universe can only answer you on your energy so it's really important Tureans to to um, at least try to be in a good mood <laughs> even when the shit hits the fan. Because life is like this. And also 2022 has been quite a um, testing uh, year for, for, for most of us or for many of us. So there were loads of stuff that nobody could foresee, if that makes sense. And we're moving into a stronger year numerically because 2023, 2 and 2 and 4 and 3 is 7. 7 is the highest number of protection, which means in the new year, whatever it is you're trying to achieve and what you're trying to um, sort of stabilize if that makes sense has a much better chance of actually happening so you're not asked to do some shadow work this month you're not asked into um, looking at maybe I have to let stuff go it will go right the point they're making is you focus more on what it is you want the issue here is that the energy of procrastination is in the energy of the cards for your emotional core and you have to understand this, this is a trait that you have, which is an imprint on your soul, so to speak, that Toreans actually have. And so it is really, really important for you to understand that when you decide today is going to be a good day, it will be a much better day than you probably had anticipated. So you, when it comes to your emotions, you have to want to feel good. So this is sort of the, the, the topic is more like, you know, if you can love yourself, you will attract someone who wants to love you. What that means is people have to deserve you first. And once you give that out, you actually attract people who are not quite as shallow as those you may at times uh, um, attract. Okay, so that is your uh, emotional core. No procrastinating. I should probably put it in, into big letters here for you, <laughs> right? And now we're looking lastly at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the last month of 2022 for the sign of Taurus. Okay, okay. Oh, gosh. There we go. Heart, heart chakra. So, love is the heart of the matter. Again, just completely yeah. resonates yeah. with yeah. everything. But that also, you've we have that a lot, when, especially when I have guests, it's because nothing thrives in isolation. Oftentimes, they are obviously connected, you know. So, again, your heart is essential within your physical being, attuned to most love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand with perfect protection and guidance. So, that literally just backs up everything that Thomas has said. And this is the time for you to essentially just love yourself. You know, it's time for you to do a little bit of self work and just realize that, realize your own worth, if anything. You know, just realize that you are worthy of love and you are worthy to be loved by somebody that does deserve you. And that has literally just resonated with, not resonated, yeah. sorry, but yeah. you know, backed up Absolutely. everything that Thomas has just said. <laughs> and when it comes to opportunities, then obviously, if you have the energy here, then that just also means that maybe you don't necessarily have to do what you feel um, just pays for your bills, right? It's understanding, you know what, I deserve to be happy in my job and you might go and make different decisions because of it, right? Guys, that's all we have time for. Thank you so much. Like I said, please like, subscribe and share. It's quite interesting. I have uh, 262 subscribers and every month we have about 600 people watching. So <laughs> literally it means that there's probably one third that is subscribed <clears throat> and um, unless you subscribe the algorithm can't find me and so I'm, I'm preaching to the converted if that makes sense <laughs> and it would be nice if some other people could see my weird face on a monthly <laughs> basis so please 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 if you don't mind subscribe anyway that's all we got time for like I said Kyra Shaw is my guest this month and the um, the content details are in the description box. Have a lovely Christmas. 
right? Don't drink so much. Don't spend all the money on bloody boom boom, whatever it's called, fireworks, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> be nice and um, see you in the new year. Bye bye.